Good morning in Jesus' name. How are we today? I didn't hear anybody. How are we today? <laughs> Lovely. It's good to see you all. Thank you, Uncle, for sharing with us this morning. There was a lot of wisdom in what you said. Um, one of the main things that struck, stood out to me, one of the first things he said, and if we look at Haggai 2, verse 8, Silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. We were told that in the context of this scripture, they've been trying to rebuild the temple with silver and not gold, making it less than it was before, even though it was still unto God. And this morning, I just want us to remember that our worship is unto God. We should be giving him the best of ourselves and withholding nothing because he doesn't withhold anything when it comes to us. God shared something with me last night and I want to share it with you this morning. If you'll bear with me, please. In Genesis 12, verse 7, it says that the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your descendants I will give this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. There he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. God wants us to build an altar where he has shown up for us. Where in our lives has God appeared to us? to us, for us, on our behalf. Build an altar of worship for the Lord. Build an altar of gratitude for your God. Build an altar of surrender for the God who works even when we cannot see it because he cannot help but do good. Build an altar of faith, believing in what you cannot yet see, but in what you have heard of God. Build an altar of communion with God. Build an altar of earnest seeking. God knows all he needs to know about us before we come. And he needs, and he knows, like through looking at the way that we worship, he knows all that he needs to know about us. When we worship, do we seek to commune with him? Do we worship for the sake of routine? Or do we worship because we fear him, love him? Do we worship because he is our priority? Or do we worship because others around us are worshiping? Do you worship out of your own yearning for God? Do you worship to hear from God? I'm asking these things because worship is personal. Ultimately, it is between you and God. If you're not comfortable singing your worship, pray your worship. Declare your reverence, pour out your heart the way you know how to whether it's in silence before him, whether it's laying prostrate, whether it's in tongues. God simply desires our communion. He desires focus, time spent without distractions, time spent acknowledging him and his presence, time deliberately centered on fellowship with the Father, time spent listening to him, becoming in tune with him, writing the words that he lays on our hearts, Time spent singing the song he places in your spirit. Time spent basking in his presence, seeking his wisdom, accepting his strength when we are weak. God wants to hear your worship as much as the person sitting next to you. But do you seek God? Because if you search for him, you will find him. If you want more of God, he is ready to make himself available to you. He doesn't give himself in pieces, or hide himself to tease us, because if we seek him, 
we will find him. Build an altar of adoration of the character of God. The same way we choose whether or not to focus on God, the same way his spirit can choose to rest on us or to pass us by. Take up your position of worship. Stand if you want to stand. Sit, cover your face, kneel, face a wall, walk. Do what you need to do to eliminate distraction and self-consciousness. Seek the Father, whether you want to hear him, speak to him, feel him, or just to experience his presence. God is available to all of us, and that's the beauty of his omnipotence. Will you grant him permission to take up this time? He can only take what we offer to him, because God is not a thief. Decide for yourself. Know that God sees you regardless of how you try to shield yourself. God is looking at you. He's not looking at the person next to you. If you give your focus to him, he will give his focus to you. Purposefully opening up yourself to him gives him purpose to redeem what you're trying to hide. Don't try to patch an old pipe with a plaster when God stands ready with a fresh pipe. New, free of charge, paid for by the blood of the Lamb. This morning, if you want to worship God, worship him in spirit and in truth as he desires. That was quite long, but the purpose of that was just to highlight how personal your worship is. When we come to church, we should be coming because we want to seek God, not because it's routine, not because someone has made us be here, not because there's nothing else to do on a Sunday, but when you enter the presence of God, you should want to feel the presence of God. Do we understand? So this morning, Forget about anyone else who's here. Forget about anything at home, anything cooking. Just focus on God because that's why we're in church, to be in his presence, to feel his presence and to commune with him. If you don't know where to start, start by remembering what he has done for you so far and then talk to him. Pray, sing, whatever you need to do, but just worship God this morning. In Jesus' name.
You've been so good 
Jehovah Most High, Jehovah Most High, Most High, Most High, Most High. Lord, I will praise you, Jehovah. Center of 